here at Going Green 2007 talking with Lyndon Rive of Solar City, which is located in San Francisco in the Bay Area of California. If you could tell me a little bit about the basic premise of your company, I'd love to hear it. Sure. The basic vision of the company is to innovate ways to reduce the cost of solar power so that everybody can have clean power in their rooms. And do you think that's something that's feasible, that everybody can have clean power? Eventually, definitely. Every roof and every uh, home in California um, that are in the right utilities should have uh, solar today. There's no reason at all. Uh, the um, subsidies in place, combined with the cost of electricity, can have a customer be a, a positive cash flow from day one. Solar City has been doing very well recently. You've been getting a lot of positive interest from um, investors, from the media, and you've also been getting a lot of business. What is it about Solar City that is propelling you forward so rapidly? It's, it's our vision. It's a simple one. Uh, making it possible for every homeowner to go solar. Uh, something that we've done is we'd go to a group area, or at least to a community, and uh, get everybody to go solar at once. Mm -hmm. By doing that, we get economies of scale, by us getting economies of scale reduces our cost, we pass that cost savings into the customer, uh, the community goes solar, uh, they save money, and we get a large installation. It's an absolute win-win for everyone. What are uh, some of the, the communities that you've been working at locally here? So we're actually looking at launching a community program in Davis. Oh, neat. Um, uh, most of the community programs we've launched so far have been in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. We've launched about eight programs there, and they've all been wildly successful. We've launched one in uh, Santa Monica in Southern California. We're looking at launching a second one in Beverlywood. Um, but the next immediate area for, for this area is uh, Rockland and, and Davis. What are some of the problems that you run into when you're trying to introduce this technology to communities? Education is the biggest problem. So homeowners aren't really aware of the how solar works and the financial return of solar. Um, so what these community programs do is help us educate the, the neighbors in the area. We throw, hold uh, training seminars or educational seminars mm -hmm. and um, neighbors start telling their neighbors and everybody it starts creating a little buzz and um, over a two month period people start adopting solar. Over how short of a period? Two month period. So you get the word gets out very quickly. Very, very quickly. So we go into an area, we'll launch the program and then close the program and they will come in and install all the solar systems. So the program normally runs for about two or three months. And in those two or three months, it's everybody's responsibility to communicate to the neighbors of going solar. If they want to see a green community, they need help in achieving that goal. Right, so it becomes something that's driven from within the community as well, from without, around the community. Exactly. So, so we would not be able to succeed if it wasn't for, uh, essentially, people in California that actually care about the environment. Um, We've got to get the word out. As I mentioned, the biggest problem is education. Mm -hmm. So if you can tell your neighbor why solar works, that will really help in getting the adoption to occur. So what are, uh, there are a lot of issues now with efficiency of, uh, of solar panels and um, how well they, they actually change light into energy. Um, are you dealing with uh, top-of-the-line panels? Like how, what, is, what is the technology that you are bringing into the communities? Sure. So we, the technology we're bringing in is monocrystalline and polycrystalline uh, solar cells. Mm -hmm. This technology is proven technology. It's been around for 30 years. The efficiency is pretty good. It's about a 15% efficiency. Um, when installing a solar system, often people focus on the efficiency. The efficiency is not the most important aspect. It's the cost per kilowatt, which is the most important aspect. Um, it really doesn't make too much of a difference. If you're installing 18 panels, uh, or installing 20 panels. It, it doesn't make a difference. The biggest issue is cost. Right. So the only time we recommend the super, super high efficient panels if there's a limited roof space. But if there's no limited roof space, uh, our recommendation is get the standard efficiency. Okay. So what is your, your hope and your dream for Solar City? Where, where do you want to take your company? Um, my absolute hope is that everybody adopts clean power. Um, whether it's through us or through, through anyone else, it's just go green. Um, if, if one or two people do it, it's good, but it doesn't solve the problem. If we all do it together, we'll solve the problem. So my vision is that uh, everybody in California starts adopting solar, mm -hmm. and then eventually the other states in the U.S. will start realizing this is the way to go, and we can start hitting those coal polluting states as well. Right. 
Is there anything else that you'd like to add that you think is important for people to understand about solar technology? Um, one thing I'd like to mention to the audience is uh, the time to go solar is now. Uh, there are tremendous subsidies available and um, the subsidies are reducing. Yeah. Uh, so solar is going to get more expensive over the next two years is my prediction. And then it will get cheaper again as new technology comes out. But the best time to go solar in reality is actually two years ago. The next best time is right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your time. It's been great talking with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.